Hey guys, and welcome back to M. Tom and Volk's board game blowout. This is the fourth sesh now, so uh, we figured we'd mix it up a little bit, although we do have one returning game, and uh, this is what we're playing this week. We have the game of life, as you can see before you. Uh, then Volk and I are going to partake in a little bit of Battleship. Uh, fairly simple, but a very engaging game once you get down to it. Then we're having a rematch in Lord of the Rings Trivial Pursuit, so that should be fun. And to finish things, we're going with a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! Ah, uh, yes. Um, most people would normally use, use Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, but we figured since the tabletop sim have um, starter decks and structure decks already implemented, we figured that would be a good way to go just to uh, wet our whistles with that particular uh -huh. game. So, Volcamar, do you mind explaining how the game of life works before we get uh, started? Yep, it is essentially a standard go around the board, but along the way, you live out what you would normally expect the stereotypical life to have. So you either go straight to a career, or you go to college. Uh, you go for all that jazz, get yourself a job, get your paydays in place, get married, get a house, maybe have some kids along the way and um, trade salaries with other people, because it's totally a thing that happens IRL. <laughs> but the oh, idea is, is that you're meant track. to make your way to retirement, where if you manage to get rich enough, you'll be allowed in the millionaire estate, where <laughs> wonderful, wonderful riches await you. Nice. But uh, before we do that, we need to take four of these tiles and place them in the Millionaire Estate, because uh, that's meant to be your bonus if you get there, and you happen to be the richest player. Okay. But yeah, game's fairly simple. Um, typically speaking, you are meant to use this here spinner, but the problem is, in Tabletop Sim, that's a little bit easy to manipulate. So instead, we're going to be using this trusty old D10. Okay, mate. Shall, right. we, uh, shall we get started? Yep, so the first thing that happens is that we roll to decide who goes first. So what did I get? A nine. nine. Oh, that was much better than the one I got during our practice bout. <laughs> what do I get? Minus nine? Uh, no, you got a nine as well. Alright, guess we're re-rolling. God. See, it hasn't even started yet and it's already getting tense. Alright, four. You can do this. <laughs> oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. <laughs> time's the charm. As they say. <laughs> well, there's that one. Alright, if you get a one as well, I will literally go over there and eat your shoes. Cause... Okay, four. Alright, four. So, um, you get to decide the route that you will be taking first. So, obviously, when you start, you get to choose the option of starting college, which will put you through the um, ringer for that. Or you can just go straight to a career and then take what you can get and uh, immediately get a couple of paydays under your belt. Hmm. Against my better judgement and going for my own life, I'm going to go straight into a career. Alright, so you get to go straight into the career. And uh, for this one here, what we have to do is we take these career cards to begin with. And okay. I'm going to lay these all out in some form in front of you. Uh, your task will be to pick one, and then that will be your career. Okay. Uh, keep in mind, since Ooh. you're not going through college, if it requires a degree, you cannot pick that card and must instead pick another one. Gotcha. Alright. I'm feeling good about this one. Alright. What have we got? An athlete. Oddly enough, that was the one you got during our practice bout. So, uh, there you go. Indeed, indeed. Mr. Tom is you... an athlete. Do you usually get a scholarship for those types of jobs? Um... I'm not entirely familiar with that sort of uh, spiel, to be honest with you, but I would imagine so, I suppose. Alright, so, Fair enough. you've got your job, so now we must determine what your salary is. And uh, in uh. much the same way, we need to lay these out in front of you. And then the one you pick will be your salary. You may be the highest paid athlete in all of mankind, or you could be the lowest paid. It is entirely up to chance. <laughs> Oh man, better than YouTube ad revenue, that's for sure. Okay, <laughs> oh, I'm going with this one. 50,000. That's a good average from my understanding. Hmm, not bad. So uh, there we go, that is that one there. So we got your job, you got your salary. And for me, I am going to actually take the opposite route. So I'm going to go through the uh, college route. 
So for this one, I'm going to need to start with a 40 grand student loan, which I'll need to pay off before I retire. And in the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot, but, you know, if you have a load of bad luck, it can add up very easily. Uh -huh. Another thing I neglected to do is give us some starting money. So uh, we both start with 10 <laughs> grand. And... There we go. That's pretty much my setup. Um, I'll be getting my uh, career and salary later on when I am done with my schooling stuff. Um, one thing I will do, however, is uh, summon a couple of token balls because the idea behind the game of life in real life is that you get a little car and you put pegs in there and that represents you, your wife, and any children that you might have. Uh, since we can't really do that, what we're going to be doing instead is we're going to be giving each other tokens. So, uh... This black token here will represent Tom, and this white token oh. over here will represent me. So, um, whenever we get wives and kids and what have you, uh, those will be demonstrated as such there, and they can have um, various consequences or effects at the end of the game. Okay. But, um, yep, I think that solves all the explanation. Apart from that, it's go around the board and uh, see where life takes you. So, uh, there you go, take it away. Let the Here game of go, life fam. begin. And we have a free. Ka-ching, ka-ching. One, two, three. So, uh, raffle prize. Collect 10,000, so you get 10,000, as well as 50 grand for your job. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Not bad for a dude who just runs around, so uh, can't exactly complain oh, there. Oh, are you hearing this? Anyone in the sports field, the field of sports, the field where sports is done. Yeah, you just got slammed by Volcomore. I don't know about that. I'd say that that's a really high-end, you know, personal workout trainer or something like that. You know, someone who works for like a celebrity or something. Alright, so I got four. So uh, one, two, three, four. So I get a part-time job, which gains me five grand, which is a, a rather paltry sum, but you know, considering I start at 10k and have this student loan to pay off looming over me, probably not very bad in the grand scheme of things. So, uh, go 5K ahead. 5k a month? That's really good. <laughs> or maybe it's assuming like 5k for the entire year or something. Okay, Otherwise, that would be a very, bad. very, very fast um, college trip. Yeah, that's not great. Ka-ching, ka-ching. One, two, three, four, five. Ski accident. Pay 5,000. So, um, what I'll do is if I give you 45, that will pay for your uh -huh. uh, ski athlete. Oh, come on. You're supposed to be an athlete. How do you get injured skiing? <laughs> <laughs> That's not my specialty. What do you expect from me? I don't know. Better from a athlete. Someone with strong legs, not legs made of ice cream wafers. <laughs> Alright, take Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't get any, um, life tokens from this regard, but I made it through without a loss, so that's okay. So now, I get to do my career search, and for this one, I have to draw three career cards and three salary cards. And oh, I have to pick on, one... Of uh, these three. So, for my careers, I got a choice between a doctor, an artist, and a salesperson, and salary between 90, 20, and 40 grand. Oh, hmm. wow. I wonder what he's gonna go with. Well, let's see. I'm gonna go take the doctor, and I think I'm gonna take that 90. Although, there are some disadvantages to taking the larger ones. Um, if you have to pay taxes, for instance, you have to pay a rather large sum. And, of course, around the board, there are opportunities to uh, swap salaries. So, uh, if Tom lands on one of those, he may well get my salary and then I end up getting his. But I don't know how that works at all, but whatever. Yeah, generally speaking, you do want to take the higher one. Okay. My turn. And we have a two. Two. Where am I at? Oh. Landed on life. Say no to drugs. So when you land on a space that has a life thing on there, you get one of these life tokens, which you're not supposed to look at until the very end of the game. And uh, that will come together to t uh, calculate your net worth at the end of the game. And of course, highest net worth is the one who wins. 
Mm -hmm. So, uh, those can be very important. Those can, uh, make the difference between victory and defeat in a lot of cases. Alrighty then. So, let us roll the dice here. A one. A rather paltry sum, but that's okay. I get paid. So, I'm gonna take a 50 and a couple God. of 20s. <laughs> you bastard. Uh, a one for me as well. Where the fuck am I at? Oh, I think I got another life token. Another life token. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, you do. So, uh, there we go. Tom, uh, already building up a nest egg of life tokens over there. Ironically, I know, yeah. <laughs> well, you just get around and, uh, lifetime achievements just, uh, throw themselves at you. It's okay. The 20s were just a run-up for my 30s. It's fine. <laughs> Alright, so I get a Dr. Pet, and that gives me a life token. So I'm going to pop that over here with my loans, I think. That seems like a sensible uh, place to put it. Roll in. And we got a seven. Oh, that went all over the shop there. Ka-ching, ka-ching. One, two, three. Gotta stop. Alrighty, so you get your pay of 50 grand. And you get married. So uh, we'll get this token here to represent Yay. wifey. And uh, you get a life token as well. So... Uh, even if you don't land on many life spaces, you still get a few guaranteed ones. Yeah, which like is you nice. have to stop at these things, don't you, the red spaces. That is correct. So, you have to stop to buy at least one house over the course of the game. And obviously, God. you need a partner. <laughs> the house I got three. during practice was fucking abysmal. So, one, two, three. Ski accident, pay 5,000. Now, because I am a doctor, I don't actually have to pay that. And uh, that's the advantage of um, careers that have degrees associated with them. Any space oh, that has okay. your career space on there, where you would normally have to pay X amount, if that player has that career, you instead pay them. So uh, it's very nice in that regard. Cool, so uh, cool. there uh, we go. Fortunately, my um, own doctoring skills saved me there. <laughs> like, as you were falling down, you sutured the cuts and whatnot. Exactly. Right, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ka-ching, eight, nine. Ooh, win the lottery, gain 50,000. Ooh. So that's 100k to me, please. I'll give you this uh, golden ticket then, I suppose. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tom making that mad bank. This All seems right. like a much four. more enjoyable version of Monopoly. Yeah, it kind of is. I would say so, definitely. So, uh, I get paid as well, and that's my 90k. If I can... <laughs> You're a legal doctor, money, performing operations on yourself. Well, if people want to come to Guatemala for enhancement surgery, you know, that's their business, not mine. <laughs> uh, if they want monster penis, they get monster penis. <laughs> okay, we have an 8. 1, 2, gotta stop. Yep, and this time you get to buy a house. So uh, let me just shuffle these just to uh, get things in there. So uh, your house is... Uh, it's a beach hut, by the looks of it. Only 50 That's yards from nice. Monsoon Beach, Sun Deck, Boat Dock, Hurricane Wall, Hurry While It Lasts, Land Shark Realty. <laughs> so you have to pay 140000 for that one, but otherwise... That there is your house. There you go. All Ten right. thousand change, please. Will do. Will do. There you go. So uh, you got yourself a uh, lovely beach while house. I'm, while I'm here, can I pay off the insurance as well? Um, that happens at the beginning of your turn. So any insurance you want to okay. take, whether that be on your house or on your vehicle, to protect it from occasions where you lose a turn or it gets stolen, etc. Uh, you can do that before you roll. So gotcha. Gotcha. You can do that one in the start of your turn. Probably build up a bit more money first. Seven. Okay, so I'm here. But I have to stop at the get married space myself. Uh, so one of those. are really blank. Kind of no personality to speak of. And a life tile. And you know what? I'm actually going to pay off my student loan now. Seems only fair. I did the whole doctoring thing. Round of applause for Volk doing something that people in real life usually can't do. <laughs> no kidding, right? It's one of those things that is just constantly looming over you. It's just like, well, I don't have to pay it right now because I'm not earning enough, but at the same time, I know it's there. <laughs> mm, my turn? Yep, go for it. 
Uh, See if you can get that double cash. payday. Six. Okay, we got a six. Ka-ching! One, two, three, four, five, six. Win talent contest. Collect 10,000. And as you notice, he avoided a space, um, meaning that he would have been fired and he would have had to have started a new career. So, uh... Oh, that sucks. <laughs> you get your 50,000 plus your 10,000 for winning the talent contest. So, um, what yeah, yeah, was yeah. your talent? Uh, I did a Let's Play live on stage. <laughs> Very well. Alright, so I got a free. So, uh, one, two, three. So, uh, I have to buy some furniture, so I have to pay ten grand. So I have to buy God. furniture when I don't even have a house yet. Not sure how that works, but there you go. <laughs> Maybe I'll just okay. give a sofa wheels and drive around like Lazy Rider, I don't know. Fuck yeah. One. Oh, ka -ching, ka ching That is a payday for you, sir. Thank you. Alrighty, let's see uh, how far I can go. Ten. Alright, so... One, two, three, payday. Five, six, seven, eight. So, let's get paid. So, uh, tell you what, I'll chuck one of these tens back and grab another 50. And uh, let's okay. see what kind of house I can get. Come on, shit show. Uh, it's the split level. You are... <laughs> that is that is a cheap piece of shit, all right. Yeah, show that off to the audience, please. There you go. So, um, apparently it was, uh, kind of leveled by a quake, so, uh... <laughs> that's that, I suppose. Uh, okay. I guess I have to live with that. But, you know, right. that's life! Um, uh, the game. Uh, here we go. That's what all Fuck. the people say! <laughs> uh, we have a one, so I get a life card. And you also get twins, so, uh, two, uh, baby tokens for you, and a life card. Yay. There we go. I'm not sure if I could quite fathom the idea of having twins. Having kids alone is scary enough. <laughs> Alright, so, one. I get paid again. I wish I could Good use this pay to get, just buy a better house. <laughs> That'd be nice. Oh, no, don't work like that. A I two. Know. One, two. Another card, please. Wow, you're just uh, gathering up these lifestyle something fierce, ain't you? Oh, yeah. So, uh, there is them. another child for you as well. So, uh, oh, come on. You've almost got a uh, full house. So, uh, you got one more space. Um, usually the maximum is six. So. <laughs> Give me a smiley face out of them. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> uh. There we go. Alright, let's see what we get. Nine. So, uh, nice. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hello! So, um, Hello. I get paid, so, uh... Let's go 50, 20, 10, and 10. And I also get okay. a child of my own, along with a lifetime. Wait, shouldn't you have twins? Uh, no, because the twins one was, uh, further back, I believe. Yeah, that was further back. That's a little bit behind us. So, uh, hey, your turn! You on the same thing as- aren't you on the same thing as me, though? Yeah, but you're on baby girl. Oh, baby girl, okay. Alright, my turn. Just making sure. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> Free. Getting some poor turns there. Um... Let's see... One... Two, three. I was going to get fucked either way, though. So, uh, family checkups pay 5,000. So you actually have to pay 5,000 to me. There you go. Hey! Doctor, get Enjoy paid. your blood money, you <laughs> viper. It's just a checkup, dude. Take it easy. It's not like I robbed him of their kidneys and left him in an ice tub in a hotel somewhere. <laughs> oh, you would if you could. Hmm, okay. So, uh, I'm going to go one, two, three. Four, five. So a family picnic. So that gets me a lifetime. Picnic's okay, cool. All right, finally. One, two, ka-ching, four, five. All right. So what did you land on? Uh, tree falls on house. Pay fifteen thousand if not insured. Uh, well, that's one. 
That's two. Give me that sweet, sweet five. Thank it's you. worth mentioning, if you don't have the money for these things, you will have to take out bank loans to um, make up for it. And uh, if you yeah. don't pay those off... That's, that's, why I'm bit, that's why I'm being a bit stingy right now. Yeah, that's fair enough. It is your right to be. Ten. Oh, wow. Flying across the board here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, uh, night school, pay 20,000. So, um, I get two paydays, wow. so that is yes. 160,000 that I oh, get. Damn. The double payday comes through. Alright, so uh, that's me, so uh, your turn. So you have to pay off something? Yeah, I did that. I uh, took it out of my wages. So I would have been 180,000, but I only gave myself 160. Gotcha, gotcha. Nine. Nine. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ka-ching. Seven, eight, nine. Five card, please. So you get one of those. And you get yourself one of these. So uh, I got four life tiles. Tom's currently sitting on six. So uh, he's quite a bit ahead of me in that regard. But then again, he may have low-scoring ones, and I might have high-scoring ones. That's just the way it goes. So a uh, six. So uh, there I am. One, two, three, four, five, six. Spin again, if not in the lead. So um, I am in the lead, so uh, that, unfortunately, is not going to happen for me. So ducked about over the... Let's get my payment sorted out, and then I'm going to fix this situation with the 100,000 just to make sure it's in the right place. Just so the uh, chat doesn't ah. relentlessly hound me about how I've uh, put things out of order. Uh, in the meantime, <laughs> you can go ahead and take your turn. Uh, we don't have any echoes on the stream, do we? Was, I'm always conscious of that after the first episode. Well, I haven't uh, heard anything personally. Okay, right. One... Two, ka-ching, three, four, five, six, seven. So one payday and uh, whatever I landed on. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, taxes due. So you must pay the tax on your job roll card. So in your case, that's 20,000. Uh, one, two, there you go. That is wonderful. There we go. The bank fakes you for your patronage. Uh, the bank can go fuck itself. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see how I follow up on that. That is a six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so, market stumps, uh, return one stock. Now, stocks are things you can buy at the beginning of your turn, but since I don't have any stocks, I don't have anything to lose to begin with. So, I'll take my payday. And uh, okay. to give a brief explanation of how stocks work, at the beginning of your turn, you can spend 50000 to buy a stock. And um, that gives you a number, which, whenever it is rolled, actually gives you $10,000. Usually it's Cut better down. for multiple player games, so if you're like four, five, six players, then um, that would be fantastic. But in a two-player game, probably not worth it. Alright, I'm a rolling. And we got a ten. Hoo -hoo. One, two, three, ka-ching, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So Two paydays, please. Alright, I'll give you this uh, golden ticket again. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Uh, well, you just zoomed ahead. Um, there's actually a job roll you can get in this game where any time a ten is rolled, you can actually do them in for speeding. No. That's... So uh, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Find buried treasure. Collect 80,000. Hell you yeah. Must, not just a doctor, but a treasure hunter as well. So uh, that is 80 plus 90, which is 170,000 by my calculations. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Even at the game of life, I'm salty. One, <laughs> two, three. Another payday, please. Alrighty, uh, let me just finish sorting mine out. So uh, 50 for you. Alright, I got some money to spare. I'm gonna get some automobile insurance for myself. Okay. Just in case. You never know what will happen. And um, while I'm at it, I'm gonna insure my house as well. Oh, look at you flaunting your money. I mean, it's a shit show, of course, but um, 
you know, you never, you don't want to be too careful. I mean, at the end of the day, you still got to live there. <laughs> yeah, your turn, mate. All right, let's do the stank. That is a ten. All righty then. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is two paydays for me. So uh, what I'll do? Motherfucker. If I put this twenty in that, I'll take two of these hundos. All right, my turn. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, I want to pay my insurance. Uh, pick up a home insurance card and put it just. Nope, gotta put it. Uh, uh, I'll put it there, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I can see it from oh. there, so it's fine. Oh god, now it's in my peripheral view. Uh, gotta find a good place to put it. Tell you what, I'll put it next to your kids and your uh, tokens. So, there it is. Thank you. Good stuff. And, uh, yeah, gotta roll. <laughs> yeah, I'm like the richest fucker alive, and yet I live in a house that has been literally cleaved in twain by the gods One, themselves. Two, three, four. Sorry, I'm just picturing that. Uh, summer school, pay 5,000 per child. So you've got three children, so that's 15,000 you need to pay. Uh, take it out of that. Alrighty, so I'll give you a 20, 10, and a 5. Thank you. That is how maths works. <laughs> Damn pesky kids needing night school. Who do they think they are? More like parasites. Six. So uh, I go one, two, three, four, five, six. Tornado hits house. Oh, the quake wasn't enough. It has to be ripped <laughs> apart by a tornado as well. Luckily, I oh don't have God. to pay the 125000 because me, being clever, bought some insurance. So, uh, hell yeah. Oh. We have insurance like on that bitch. Time. That's like a one-time use card, then. Yep, once you uh, use the insurance, then uh, that gets paid off. Gotcha. I believe okay. that's how it works. That's a nine. One, two, three, four. Ka-ching. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, stock market slumps return one stock, but you don't have one, but you do get your payday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my house is just cursed. It is a magnet for natural disasters. It's like if it was it's built by free bars. <laughs> yep. It was built entirely in Sim City against a person who just loves natural disasters. So uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is a double payday for me. So uh boom. I'll take yeah, a couple of these hundos. So how many of these do I actually have now? I have six. Yeah, so... you don't you don't need to brag about it, Rob. Where the fuck is the dice? Can't see it. Uh it's over there. A two. Uh, okay. <laughs> Payday, please. Payday. I think I'm literally a million now, so I am technically a millionaire who lives in a shit shack that got hit by a tornado and an earthquake. <laughs> oh my god. So that's a free for me, so I go one, two, three. Help the homeless! And take a life card. A. Not I can get behind Not that. Is that altruism? Is that what that is? I have no idea what that word even means. <laughs> okay. Mushu flu attack. Pay 25,000. And because I'm the doctor, you have to pay me. <sighs> oh yeah, give me that paper. Suck my fucking dick. You know, it's a shame there's like no option in Tabletop Simulator to fan out all your money and just put it against your face. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, well, you live in a shit house, that's what you live in. <laughs> hey, it survived a tornado, I prefer sturdy. Alright, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Spin again, if not in the lead, but I am, so that is no good to me, so it's your turn. <sighs> no, you forgot pay though. Ah, uh, yes, so you I did. You, you passed this, so take your goddamn money. Alright, if you insist. <laughs> well, it's part of the game, come on, though. Uh, a two. Where the fuck am I? You're down over here. Oh, God, I've got, I've got blind. One, two. Buy a sailboat for 30 grand. Do I have to? I'll just take one of those. Well, life works in mysterious ways. Sometimes it gives you a sailboat against your will, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, this is Absolutely actually a really no comfy out. game. It's like nowhere near like the levels of just angrily unfair as Monopoly tends to be. 
So no. let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Payday! So that's another 90 grand for me. I hate you so much. You Dr. Wiles and whatnot. <laughs> <sighs> okay, what was that? Eight. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So uh, you get 50, and then you get to spin again because. You're not in the lead, nice. so you yes, get another roll. It feels it as well. Playing a bit of catch up now. Two. Two. So, uh, college, pay 50,000 per child. So that's 150 oh. grand. Oh. 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 Damn. Well, at least you live in a nice My house. wallet. <laughs> My wallet. Now, if I could just buy the most expensive house in the world, I totally would right now. Four. One, two, three, four. So, uh, take a hike. That is life. I'm not sure where a good hiking location is around here. I mean, there's plenty of fields, sure, but no, like, huge mountains to scale. Maybe up your own arse. Scale your colon. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> You're turning on the passive aggressiveness up to maximum. <laughs> pay me. There you go, you get some of your money back. Besides, it wasn't my fault you had to pay 150,000. Blame your kids. Uh, no! <laughs> six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're a grand parent, so, uh. I'll take a life card, and also I got paid, so, uh, tell you what, I'm gonna put in one of these tens and I'll take a hundred thou. <sighs> okay, good on you, Vogue. One, two, three. So, uh, visit War Memorial, so, uh, you get a life tile, there you go. Somehow you just stormed ahead of me in terms of spaces. Yeah, I think I rolled a couple of pretty high numbers, so that definitely helped. Nine, so I get one more payday. So, two, three, four, and there we go, I retire. So, um, I put one of these tens in, take one of these hundo thousands, and uh, I am going to go into the millionaire's estate. So, I'm going to park myself there, and I'm going to take these life tiles, I believe. Uh, let me just double check that once you take a turn. Doesn't really seem like any point now, but, uh, yeah. Uh, we got a six. One. One, two, three. Ching, four, five, six. So, uh, what did uh, you get there? Uh, spinning again, if not in the lead. Ah, oh, brilliant. Alright, there you go. So I guess I have to reach there as well. Uh, yep, you do. One. Two, three, ka-ching, four, five, six. Alright, did you get another so payday? Wildland. Yes, I did. Alright, and uh, what did you land on? A support wildlife fund. So, uh, that's another life tile for you. Nice. Alright, and uh, you carry on, because uh, it's all you at this point. <laughs> Fuck. Dropped it off the table. <laughs> uh, no, you haven't. It's uh, right here. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm Grandpa Volk, hell yeah. With the only child as well. So that is a nine. Right. One, two, ka -ching. So that's three. Three, four, five, six. And you retire as well. So um, if you retire to the countryside, you collect one extra life tile, and your life tiles are completely safe. So, um, if the if tile pile runs out, uh, they cannot take tiles from you. Um, after all players have retired, all players at the Millionaire Estates count their money. So, um, the richest player in the Millionaire Estate would get the four tokens that are over there. Mm -hmm. I guess I should do. I'm going to retire to the country. Alrighty then. So, uh, you got a big house, a very nice house in the country. <laughs> so you get a life tile, and uh, I'll take these four. We already know that you're going to win, Volk. You win every game. 
Hey, that's not true. You won the Trivial Pursuit thing. You won the Harry Potter as well. Alright, okay. so uh, now we count up all our funds. So this includes now flipping your life tiles over. Okay. Blimey, blimey. I must have been a doctor, man. You get even more money. Uh, yeah. I cured the common cold, which seems, uh, fitting oh, I for me. Fucking, I, dis I despise, I loathe you. Alrighty then, so, uh, let's figure out. 50,000. 50,000. Figure out your money. Alrighty then, so that is, uh, 800,000. 1 million 400. 1 million 500. You can use a calculator. One. Yeah. Alright, I'll get the calculator out for this. Just make this a bit <laughs> easier on me. <laughs> <laughs> for our sanity and the audiences. Yes, okay then. So, uh. Let's see. We've got 800,000 for that one. Plus. 600,000 for my 50s. 140,000 for my 20s. Uh, 100,000 for my 10s. And 15 grand for my 5,000s. So, um, let's see. And up there, all may count the money and add two figures together. So now I need to work out these. So, what have I got here? Here. You made a note of your initial total, right? Yep, 1,655,000. Okay. Okay, so... Let's see here. It's 500,000 with the two... 250,000s over there, so that's plus 500,000. And then we've got a 200,000. Okay, we got three 150s, so that is 450,000. And then we got a couple of 100,000s. There's a 200,000 there as well. And then one, two, three, 50,000s. So uh, my total net worth is 3,255,000. Whilst living in a yep. crap shack ravaged by a quake and a tornado. <laughs> well, you know, that's where you cut your losses and you made all your earnings. Yep. By living in a crap shack, I ensured that I had money to use as a duvet if required. <laughs> so, what was your count. total? You can count my fucking money, Dr. Man. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, Alright, let me get the calculator out again, just to... Uh... Made this easier for myself. So you got 100,000 there. So bad right there. <laughs> so 450 plus 20 plus 10 plus 5. So uh, let's see here what we got. Uh, let me just rotate the board so I can see what you got there. Yeah, you got some pretty good tiles there. So, uh, got a 100,000. Another 100,000. A 200,000. A 150,000. Well, you painted a masterpiece. That's something to be proud of. Go to hell. And you climbed my Everest. Discover new planet. <laughs> I'm gonna move there with all my money. <laughs> yeah, see ya, sucker. <laughs> this, this planet is too poor for me. I want I want greener pastures. So I'm gonna move to oh, Jupiter. <laughs> so your total was 173 million. What? What? 173 million? 1,735,000. Million is what I was say. meant to say. So, uh. Just about got half of what I had, so that's something over there. Oh, wait a minute, you've got kids, haven't you, as well? So you do actually get mm. a retirement fund as well. I believe. Pretty sure I do. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. 
Yeah, I can see it on there. I'm pretty sure usually when you, um... Oh no, that's like near the end of a retirement thing. So like, there's a space where you literally get presents from all your kids. <laughs> but there we go. The cul-de-sac is laid bare after the table has been flipped into the, uh, never. Um, there is a single cursor <laughs> lingering around. No, there was that, no that evidence shadow. a game ever took place. <laughs> that, that shadow is me hanging from a fucking street lamp. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, flip a table. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, fucking kill yourself and stay in college. Uh, dearie me. So, uh, that is a victory for me. I think it's fair to say. And, uh, let's move on to the next one. And, uh, we'll take our battle from life itself to the sea. And uh, this is a game oh, that yeah. many people will know and love. This is Battleships. An absolute classic of a game. So um, I'll be on red side. And uh, Tom here will be on the blue side. Mm -hmm. And uh, the objective of this game is very simple. We have to place in secret our ships on the board over here. And it is up to us to guess where they are. And by firing our artillery guns at the ocean willy-nilly, eventually we'll find the boats hidden within and uh, sink each other's battleships. The first one to sink oh, yes. all five battleships is declared the winner. Nice, nice. So a very simple premise. Uh, so let's go ahead and get set up. Um, yep. Our player boards are kept entirely secret from each other, so we don't know who's going to be placing what and where. So Ooh, um, here we go. I'm going to zoom in nicely over here, and we'll figure out exactly what we're going to do here. Uh, let me think. Uh, let's have you go over here. Have you over there. Half the battle is deciding where the hell you actually want to go. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Alright, that's as good as I'm going to get, I think. Okity dokity. Ready when you are, Volk. Alrighty, just deciding where to place my last battleship. And then we'll go down over here. Alright, I think I'm ready. I believe you are ready as well. Yep. Alright. Um, since I'm sporting, I will let you take the first shot. G6. G6. Oh, wow. That is a hit. Nice. Alright, let me just... Update my thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> nice. Oh yes, we've already G5. got the G five. Uh, that is a miss. Okay. <laughs> we already got Fair the um, chat quoting Jasper. You sunk my battleship. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can get a first turn hit as well. Um, I'm gonna say G six as well. Okay. Uh... Nope. Ah, I thought you said G6 because that was like where one of yours was. So much for that. That's fine. No, nope, I'm not, not that dumb, mate. <laughs> uh, let's see. F6. F6. Uh, nope, that is a miss, sir. Daunt. <laughs> Daunt. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's go with D3. D3, you say. Miss. Well, damn. So much for that. G7. Uh, that is a hit. <laughs> uh, let's see. G8. That's a miss. No, just kidding. You sunk my battleship. <laughs> you fucker. That is a 3. So there's another 3 lingering around, as well as a 4, a 2, and a 5. A... 5. Uh, that is a miss. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Alright then, uh, C7. C7, you say? Oh, lord it all. Miss! Damn, I thought that suspense silence meant that I got hit in. Oh well. <laughs> nope, that's just doing basic mathematics, mate. D2. D2, uh, that is a miss. Alrighty then, uh, let's go with... H2. H2, you say? You got yourself a hit there, my friend. Ah, hit on H2. Lovely. Okay. Uh, let's go with G2. Oh, you got yourself another hit, my friend. 
Alright, uh, let's carry on up the ladder. F2. Oh yes, some a submarine. Oh, we got ourselves a battleship. Nice. Alright then. Uh, let's go for F9. F9. Let me just do some kind. Nope. Alright. So, F9 is a miss. Don't worry, I trust Tom not to peek, so I'm not the least bit concerned about that. Well, I can't see your board at all, so... Well, I mean, you could just turn on the live stream is uh, what you could do. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. That's why, I'd have... That's why I'm not responding to the chat, just That's to right. make it fair. Uh, D5, please. Uh, D5, unfortunately, is a miss. Damned. Okay, uh, let's go with... Hmm. Let's see. Let's go with A3. A3, you say? Negatory. Well, damn. Alright, you're up. D10. D10. C10. Oh, C10. Sorry, I misheard you. That is a miss. Okay. Alrighty then, uh, let's go with, uh, G9, no, J9, sorry. G J9. J9, you say, okay. Uh, miss. Dang, I keep mistaking that sign for, oh, you bastard, you got a hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, um, I will copy you, J9. Well, damn, that is a hit. I actually forgot I had a ship there, to be honest. <laughs> uh, and J10. Uh, nope, that is a miss. Alrighty gotcha. then. Uh, let's go with B10. B10, you say? Nope. Well, damn. Okay. Uh, I will go with uh, J8. You flipped my tiddlywink. <laughs> <laughs> so is that your ti is, is, is that your Tidian? Uh, yep, that is it. That is my twofer. So uh, go ahead, take another go. Okay, um, F1. F1. Nope, that is a miss. This ain't going okay. well for old Volk, ladies and gents, but uh, that's okay. It's still time to turn this <laughs> Doctors around. Don't... Doctors don't do so well on the high seas. No, they really don't. Um, let's go for... Uh... Hmm... Let's go with C5. Miss. Curses. Fold again. Um, I4. I4. There's a hit. Oh, nice. Just kind of firing wide here. Uh, H4. Uh, nope, that is a miss. Let's narrow it down a little bit. Yep. Uh, let's go for... Uh, let's see. F4. F4. Nope. Well, dang. Uh, I5. Nope, that is a miss. Right. <laughs> Got me cornered now. Alright then. Uh, E6. Nope. Alright. Okay, okay. I3. Uh, that is a hit. I2. That is a hit. Okay, just updating. And I1. You fog on my leghorn! <laughs> How insane that don't think of these going before all your ships are sunk. <laughs> Alrighty, so you're actually two ahead of me, so uh, Entom pulling off to a uh, commanding lead in this game. Um, D7. D7. Uh, nope, that is a miss. Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, click the wrong thing. Go for it. Okay. Uh, let's go with um, H8. H8, you say? Hit. Hey, finally got one on the board. All right, then. Uh, where do we go from here? Uh, let's go with G8. G8, you say. Miss. Dang. Alright, you're up. 
A10. A10. Uh, that's a miss. Okay. Alrighty, uh, let's go, uh, I-8. I-8, you say. Miss. Alright, so it's not pointing in that direction. Okay, you all go. Hmm. B-3. B-3, that is a miss. Okay. Alright then, uh... Closing the gap on you, Vogue. You are, you are. Uh, H7. Hit. Okay, uh... H6. Hit. Hmm. Uh... H9. Miss. Ah, damn. Alright then. Uh... B7. B7, that is a miss. Okay. Alright, and uh, let's finish this thing off. Uh, H5. Okay, you got one just there. So is that a battleship sunk? Nope. Alright, then in that case, that is your carrier, so H4. Sploosh. Followed by a kaboom. <laughs> Followed by an earth shattering kaboom! Okay then. Uh, uh, I still have more ships to go. Alright, alright. Uh, let's go with uh, G3. G3, you say? Eh -eh. Alrighty, your go. E3. E3. Nope, that's a miss. Hmm. Alrighty, uh, let's try J3. Nope. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see, F9. F9, that is a miss. Okay. Okay, uh, let's go I1. No. No. Ooh. Try to try to root me out, I see. Yeah, I'm just trying places where I haven't really got much in the way of um, pegs down. C8. C8. That is a hit. Nice. No, I just have to plan this very carefully. Um, C7. Uh, that is also a hit. C6. That is also a hit. C5. That is also a hit. And to finish off C4. Nope, that is a miss. Ooh, well, I know where I'm going next turn. <laughs> well, you do if you have any sense. Uh, okay. Uh, let me see here. Oh. Let's try... B2. No. Dang. C9. You sunk me battleship, man. Ah, eat it. So let's see, I've taken down your carrier, I've taken down your four, your two, and one of your threes. So I just need another three. Yep. God, there's a lot of spaces where that could be hiding. <sighs> My turn, I assume. Yeah. F2. There's a hit. <laughs> I am giddy. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> E2. That is a hit. Well, it's been fun, Volk. G2. No, my fleet! How dare ye! Wow, I only got two of yours. Damn, well played, sir. Just, just in case you're wondering where mine were, uh, it was B2 to B5. B2 to B5. Uh, uh, B9 down to E9, and uh, I10 down to J10. Wow, so I literally just missed a couple of them then. Because yeah, I literally got came... B2 and A3, and that was like right sort of on the corner of one of them. Uh -huh. Damn. Well, well played. So there we go, guys. Yeah, there thank we go. You, thank you. That... Tom takes that one. Okay, so let's move straight on to Trivial Pursuit rematch time. 
Alrighty then. I have a good feeling you'll win this one as well. Your Lord of the Rings trivia is uh, <laughs> much stronger than mine, so we'll have oh, to see how yeah. this goes. I could get lucky. You mm -hmm. never know. I have been listening to you guys' feedback, by the way, and uh, I have the power of the alt key on my side now. Yes, indeed he has. Alright then, so uh, I'm going to place my red eye <sighs> on here. And let's get the Lord of the Rings trivia at the ready. Shuffle the cards, shuffle the cards, shuffle the cards. There. Where's my pie? I don't know where it is. Uh, well, you got the light blue one there, so uh, that'll be yours. Uh, and that goes here. Yes. As it and floats forget, majestically. You can go through, can go through the middle. Yep. Don't forget, we forgot that last time. Yeah, you can go through the middle, you can't just stop on the middle space. Until you yeah. have all your pie pieces. Alright, so let's roll to decide who goes first, then. Uh, oh, please get that dice tower or else we're not fucking about. Alright, so I rolled a two. Okay. I, I also rolled a two, but it hit the thing, so I'm going to put it in the machine. Alrighty. Uh, damn it. What is going on with this dice? You're not rolling it's, it down the thing it, properly. But it's ignoring gravity, that's why. Huh. What number is that? That is a five. The I win. Yep, you do. Okay, okay. Ah, it's choky. Do you want to flip those cards around, Bob? Um, nope, that's on the right side. Those are the questions. Otherwise, you'd have all the answers on the back. Okay. Huh. Alright, so go ahead, roll your dice. Okay, the uh, the dice tower's in a really awkward position, so I'm just going to move around a little bit. Uh, right. Hold on. Here we go. Um, I can move it for you, so... Um... No, it was fine where it is, I just moved around. Ah, uh, okay. Now the dice is being controlled by a malevolent force that hates tribute. <laughs> there we go. Six! And we have a six, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yellow me, bitch. Yellow you, all right. Uh, let's fall that one over. So, yellow. What title does Gimli assign Eomir at their first meeting? Ha, Eomir, eh? Hmm. As in E-O-M-E-R. Yeah, A wins from it. Um... That's a really tough one to start, actually. Uh, Horsemaster? That's the one! Collect. I really wish there was like an anime name, version of this uh, Trivial Pursuit. That would be really good. Uh, give All me right. your name, Horsemaster, and I'll give you mine and more besides. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and roll hey, again, yeah, my dude. You, you will need to turn it around, because I'll need to have my private time with my spaces. There we Thank go. You. Go ahead. Roll, roll pretty <laughs> dice. That won't roll properly for some reason. Five. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. It's a blue for you. He's gonna blue me. Who does Sam wed? Uh, Rosie. Rosie Cotton. That is correct. Take another turn, Thank sir. You. I will, with gusto. Two. Two. One, two. Orange. Ooh, these are the uh, tricky ones. Who is the youngest actor to play a major role in the trilogy? Oh, that's tough. Um, I have to be careful here, because I'm thinking of young characters in the film, but you're talking about actors. Yeah, so. main roles. Dominic Murderhunt? No, it was Elijah Wood. Ah, okay. There we are. Right. Old Volk gets a turn, and then he will no doubt fail. <laughs> five. Alright, so that's better? one, two, three, four, five. That's a wild space, so roll again. Mm -hmm. Two. See if we can get some yellow pie on. Uh, let's see. What space is London? Yellow? 
Yellow, yes. What kind of bread do Elven Lambus most resemble? Shortbread, pita bread, or a baguette? Uh, shortbread, I believe. The answer was pita bread. Ah, damn. <laughs> ah, well. Thank you. My turn. It is indeed. Can't get over how jammy I was with that fucking thing. Six. Uh, the battleships. One, two, three, four, five, six. Time for a bit of that brown pie. That sounds really wrong. <laughs> it does. Alright then. But no, you did well in that battleships game. Alright then, brown. What title does Faramir's father hold in Gondor? Uh, he is the steward. He is indeed. Go take a piece of that pie, boy. Put it on, boy. Alright, Push right. to a boy, even though we're like almost 30. Uh, I need to uh, link these two together, so there you go. Yep. You're all set to go. Go ahead and roll again. Okay. Uh, two. That is a two. I'm going to go down the center this time. Alright, so pink. Alright then. Where does Gandalf hope the Eye of Sauron is focused in the final days of the war? Minas Tirith, Isengard... Or the Shire. But it's terror, obviously. Yep, that is correct. Bit of an easy one. <laughs> easy for some. <laughs> six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another pink one. All right then. Who tells Theoden that Saruman's army is not a rabble of mindless orcs? Gimli. That is correctamundo. They're Urukai. Their armor is thick and their shields are bra bro. I can't do the rolling off thing, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Again. I go again. Three. Three. One, two, three. Brown town. So, Brown. What objects do the fellowship trackers hide behind as Eomir's men approach on the plains? Uh, boulder? Boulders, that is correct. Thank you. You're far too good at this. <laughs> <laughs> you have you have a dangerous talent. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back. One, two, so, three, please. Towards the green. Very well. So green is this one. Who does Saruman incite to attack Rohan when he says, Take back the lands they stole from you. Wild man. That is the one. Nice. Come on, free. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything's coming up in, Tom. Yellow. And that is a pie potential over there, so uh, let's see what we got. Yellow. Which member of the Fellowship carries a knapsack with pots and pans? Um... Sam. Yep. And that's a yellow piece of pie for you. Mm. Oh no, it's all gone horribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they just literally somehow clipped underneath it and then just flipped the entire thing. There we go. There go. Alright, go ahead and My take turn. another turn, sir. Again. <laughs> you will never get a fucking turn. <laughs> this rate I won't. Alright. Uh, <sighs> and I roll again. Wild card, bitches. Five. One, two, three, four, five. To be honest, even if I don't get a turn, I probably won't mind so much, because I'm just impressed <laughs> <laughs> at the sheer amount of Lord of the Rings knowledge you have. Alright, so Orange mm. Pie. Which Hobbit's dad is played by the actor Norman Fawzi? Uh, and Sam? Correct! Because he's like the only one I saw in there, so... Mm. So, uh, orange pie piece for you. Tell you what, hold on. Let me get the lift height up a bit more. That might be where I'm going astray here. There we go. Thank you. Hopefully someday Roll they fix the, uh, slotting the pie pieces into your, uh, thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, green, please. Green. All right, then. Uh, what weapon is swung by the uruk leader at the Battle of Helm's Deep? The Battle of Helm's Deep. The uruk leader. 
Yes. A, a sword? That is correct. <laughs> you know, right now oh, I'm just yes, picturing well. you cosplaying as Gandalf. You shall not <laughs> get a turn! <laughs> uh, these questions you shall not pass! Alrighty, uh, so you need a brown. So, what is the name of the river that flows closest to Isengard? Isen. That is correct. Thank you. Not exactly in the most original name for a river in the world, but I suppose it makes sense. Eh, uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, okay. One, two, three. So that is a pink. Alright. What uh -huh. are Merry and Pippin bound with when they are captured by the Urukai? Chains, rope, or leather bindings? Rope. Rope is correct. Aragorn finds the rope. Yeah, there we go. Four. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go back now. One, two, three, four. Roll again. Go for it. Hmm, that doesn't really help, but whatever. Brown, please. Brown, it is. The four after this. All right. Who steps into the water first in the dead marshes with his left foot? Frodo. Wrong! It is Sam. Oh, shit. And Sir Never Gets a Turn is going to get a turn. For maybe, like, <laughs> one. Possibly two if I'm lucky. <laughs> two. Alrighty then. Uh, that's a wild, so uh, roll again. <laughs> That's like a major God's Do Bleed moments right there. <laughs> Alright, green please. Uh, which five warriors flank Gandalf on horseback at the end of the Battle of Helm's Deep? What, five warriors? Ooh. I don't actually know that one. Uh, which five warriors? Uh, the Ring Wraiths? No, of course not. AMA, Feodin, Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli. Oh, fuck, yeah. Sorry, I was thinking against rather than with. Sorry. <laughs> that was my blunder don't, right don't, there. Don't, don't apologize, mate. That was a pretty hard question, honestly. I was surprised. Uh, one. I'm going to go back. Come on, I just need one, two, three, four, five. I need a five. I want to land on that blue pie. <laughs> Denied! Oh. Alrighty, then. So, uh, what kind of terrain does Sam guess is near the Emin Mule by its smell? A bog. That is correct. Nice. Yeah, good luck pronouncing that whilst you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, I just need a two. Give me a two. Yes! <laughs> Damn! Tom's counting cards over here. Or in this case, counting dice. I think, I think Eru is on my side. Yeah, clearly. Alright, blue. Who stands watch while the Fellowship rests before attempting the pass of Caradras? Whew. Aragorn? Uh, no, it is, in fact, Legolas. Mm. Tricky one. Yeah, not the easiest one as well, and usually the blue ones are meant to be like among the easiest since they're like general knowledge ones. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, blue then. Alright, I'm about to blue your mind. What part of Treebeard's body does Pippin touch with his right hand awakening the creature? Uh, his leg? <laughs> Pick your choices very carefully. His nose. Ah, the nose. Ah, that's my penis. <laughs> that's my knob. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, ah, because we hobbits are gay, Lord! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so I have to double back, I suppose, to get back to it. Yep, well, you're landing on the uh, wild space one way or another. One, two, three, four, five. And now I need one, two, three, four, five again to get back. <laughs> oh my god! God. <laughs> oh my goodness me. What superpowers are you exhibiting in this game right now? 
I don't. I mean, it's. I mean, it's bad enough to get a trivia king, but I mean, come on. <laughs> All right. What creature takes Gandalf to Minas Tirith in the last days of the War of the Ring? Shadowfax. Correct. That gives you a blue piece of pie. So, uh, let's get this. Pie beat up, motherfucker. I can if I can just balance this thing in some way that resembles something. <laughs> hey. Okay, so which do I have? I have brown, uh, orange, yellow, and blue. So you need pink. And you need green. So you need to head to the Ooh. other side of the board, my friend. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. We Four. Four. One, two, three, four. Orange me up, motherfucker. Uh, going for a Trixie Oranges, are you? Alright. What holiday was Peter Jackson born on? Halloween, Christmas, or Valentine's Day? Christmas. Nope, Halloween. He is not the messiah, he's just a guy who likes to make movies. A very naughty boy. Yeah, how dare he win multiple awards for his uh, grand uh, film of whatever's. I don't even know where I'm going with that anymore. Alright, two. <laughs> yeah. uh, brown. Let's go over Brown. Brown. What kingdom did Denifor tell his son the One Ring must be brought to? What kingdom? Uh... <laughs> Why do I have to get all the hard ones? It's hard enough that I this barely is... remember it. <laughs> this is piss easy, mate. Um, uh, you say that, and <laughs> yet here I am. Uh, damn, 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 damn. Gondor. Yes! Hooray! I had a horrible suspicion that was going to be wrong. I'm just drawing ahead of time, so I don't have to waste any time. That's fine. Yeah, in the case you can't tell, my Lord of the Rings knowledge is a little bit scattered at best, but I can get by. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. All right, orange me up, boy. Uh, what battle in the two towers does Peter Jackson make a cameo appearance in? Um. Hmm. Helm's Deep? Yep. Hey, there we go. I was just trying to think back because I used to watch like all the extras that came on like the extended edition oh. a lot. So like a yeah, lot of that right. is burned in my memory. Alright, six. So uh, that's a brown pie potential for me. I'd be happy if I can get one piece of... <laughs> <laughs> one piece of pie, that's all I want. <laughs> How many paths does Gandalf have to choose from when the Fellowship gets lost in Moria? Three. And the answer is free. Yes! I have a moral victory. <laughs> <laughs> Take your pie, my son, you've earned it. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I mean, you are the trivia king. I am but a mere pauper in the face oh, of a prince. <laughs> Four. All right. Uh, let's go with blue. Uh, okay. What fellowship member says fear will drive them to destroy what hope they have? Uh, let me think. I'm thinking that's either a Legolas or a Gandalf. Uh, let's go Legolas. It was neither. It was Boromir. Oh, shit, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the one that died was the one who had all the wisdom. That's why it took him three fucking movies to get the job done. Yep, let's see. One, two, three. Yellow, please. Yellow? Alright, you got juice there, fella. No, wait. Yeah. Yellow? I hardly know her. <laughs> Alright, how many days does Arwen seek Aragorn and the Hobbits before finding them in the woods? Seven. Two is the answer. I was close. <laughs> yeah, you're only five off. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm the one getting passive aggressive. What's going on? Four. Alright, I've already got the brown piece of pie, so uh, let's go with an orange, please. Okie dokie. What king slain by Sauron is played by actor Peter McKenzie? How the fuck am I meant to know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even I would struggle with that one. I can't even think of, like, a guess. Like, King Lion King? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Elendil. Yeah. 
<laughs> I was not gonna get that one. <laughs> no chance in hell. Alright, we got a four. One, two, three, four. Blue. Alright, and who makes the decision not to follow Frodo and Sam after the Fellowship breaks up? Aragorn. Correct, sir. I don't think there could only really be one person. Uh, let's have a look, see. Ooh. One, two, blue. <laughs> Somebody in the chat just said I should get a pipe piece for everyone I get right to make it fair. <laughs> I don't need your pity. <laughs> Alright, what creature says of the destruction at Isengard, a wizard should know better? Draven. That is correct, sir. Alright. Free! Okay. One, two, three. Green. I'm setting up here. Green, okay. Who suggests Fearden's call for aid by sending out riders before the Battle of Helm's Deep? Aragorn. Correct, sir. Where was Gondor when the Westfold fell, etc. <laughs> <laughs> that is the correct um, right down to the etc. <laughs> one, two, three, four. They're Double taking time. the hobbits to yada yada yada. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. Uh, what name besides liar and thief does Gollum call Smeargol in an internal debate? Murderer. That is right, I would have also accepted Hillary Clinton. Oh, <laughs> uh, I kid, I kid, of course. Alright, so, pink piece of pie. That means you are one pie piece away from being able to achieve ultimate victory. Oh, yes, I am. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I like how it just floats majestically down <laughs> on top of me. It's like, ah, yes, I am your god. <laughs> okay, so, uh, this is an orange one, so, uh... What's the name of the actor who plays the Orc Shagrat? Damn, what a name! In Return of the King. I don't fucking know, pass. Uh, Peter Tate, apparently. No idea. I find it amusing that there is an Orc named Shagrat. That is an amazing name. Four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Oh no, that reminds me. It's also in Lord of the Rings, but I think it's the latest game, like Shadow of Mordor 2 or whatever it's called. There's a there's a orc character called Shag the Heartless. Nice. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Alright, green oh. high potential. Let's see if I can actually not, do this. And not only that, but someone made a post saying, Oh, it's my Kingdom Hearts fanfic character. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, green. What happens to Aragorn's sword when he tries to attack the White Wizard in Fangorn? It shatters. It grows too hot to hold. Sorry. It grows too hot to hold. Ah, yes. Give me one. Fuck. Ah, your dice calling bullshit is starting to wear off now. One, two, three. Ha ha! I'm not done yet. Give me two. This is like worry not. I have only begun yes. to fight. <laughs> and of course he gets it the second time round. So uh, that is green. Uh, what member of the Fellowship wields the elven sword Glamdring? Gandalf. Correct. You get the green pie. And you're on your way to the final furlong. <laughs> Alright. So you need... Two, three, four, five, six. All right, just for that, I'm giving you an orange. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> All right then. Uh, what Hobbit character is played by actress Laurie Dungy? I don't know. Care to take a guess? Rosie Cotton. No, Miss Bracegirdle. What the fuck is that? I don't know, maybe it's like the miserable looking woman who doesn't even get excited for Gandalf's fireworks. <laughs> but either way, my turn. Five. Okay. Let's take a wild. Roll again. 
six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Green, please. What does Aragorn tell the elves at the Battle of Hell's Deep not to show the enemy? Not to show the enemy? Huh. Fear? Mercy. Oh, close, but not quite. Okay, so now you need to move off and on the space, I believe. Oh, shit. All oh, right. shit! Hold up. Rewind time. <laughs> you did that on purpose. No, I literally was just going to see if I could find the notebook. The notebook and the flip button are in the same place, nearly. They are, yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Give me a purple question, you fucker. Alrighty, then. <laughs> it's a good thing that we won't time button exists. All right then. So purple. Yep. Uh, what? When does Grimma say Theodred must have died? At dawn, in the afternoon, or at night? In the night. No. In the night it is. It is Grimma word to worm tongue, isn't it? I'm not pronouncing yeah. that incorrectly. My uh, family is Grimma, but whatever. One, two, three, four, five. Well, it's not Grimace because that's the. Purple fucker from McDonald's, isn't it? Just read the question, please. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how many fellowship boats go farther downstream than Lake Nen Hifoel? Four. One. Mm. Alrighty. Let's roll the dice, see what I get. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reroll. One. Yellow, please. How many sides does the deep well in Balin's tomb have? How many... Sides. Uh... Six. Eight. Eight. Ooh. I was going with either six or eight. I thought maybe the smaller number's the more reasonable one. Son of a bitch. One, two, three. Orange. Orange it is. Might end of a run up. You're probably going to get all your pie pieces while I'm trying to get back to the fucking center. I think you give me too much credit. What employee of the Green Dragon is played by actress Sarah McLeod? Rosa Khan. That is correct. Now, I'm pretty sure we got that question in the uh, last game we played, if I remember correctly. Hmm. Yes. Oh, here we go. He's got a chance to seal the deal again. All right. So, um... hmm. And it could be edit that yeah. folks choosing. Was. All right. Then here's one for you. Uh, what two items of food does Frodo pack when he hurriedly leaves at Bag End with the ring? Hmm. Wine and bread. Wine and bread, did you say? Yes. No, it is an apple and a loaf of bread, so you're close. Uh, oh, yeah. And it said items of food. Wine is a drink, last I checked. Fuck. Six. Uh, let's go for a green piece of pie, then. Oh, nice. What free word order does the Uruk High leader shout his troops at the Amon Hen attack? Leave none alive? And he says, Find the halflings! Ah, damn! Leave oh. none alive is a Saruman quote, I believe. Uh, you may have been correct there, that may have gotten them mixed up. That's fine. Well. It seemed like more of an orky thing to say, rather than, um. Hmm, <laughs> tastes a bit orky. <laughs> Oh, make it orky. <laughs> Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> Gotta try out that new fancy cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's your question. Uh, what three words are the last line of Balin's journal? Uh, they are coming. Correct. And I roll again. It's you, he's too smart for his own good. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Alright, here's your question. Who does Gandalf call an old rascal? Uh, um, Sam? 
No, it is Bilbo. Oh. You, that, actually, it's a mistranslation. He called him an old rustler. <laughs> Five. Okay, well, that's a wild, whichever one I go for. So, uh, there. Roll the dice. One. Looks like I'm getting a blue. Alright. What does Bilbo compare himself to when he says he feels like the substance scraped over too much bread? Butter? Yes, that was a bit easy. Hey, could have been jam as well. Like, those are two fairly obvious ones. It just depends on which one it was. Butter's more common, so that's the one I went for. Alright, give me another blue. Who says there is an elf witch of terrible power in Lothlorien? Could you repeat that one, please? Who says there is an elf witch of terrible power in Lothlorien? Uh, Elrond. Nope. Gimli. Oh, damn. All right. Why would Elrond say that? I don't know. I may be remembering something incorrectly. That's usually the reason I get a lot of these wrong. Alright, two. One, two. Brown, please. See, if I knew if it was coming up soon, I may have had the right mind to brush up on my trivia, but uh, this was kind of on the cusp. Alright then. Yeah. Um, Brown. What was the Great Fortress of Hell's Deep named after? A precious, a precious mineral, a king of Rohan, or a river? King of Rohan? It's Helm's Deep. Yep, you are absolutely right. Give me three. One. I'll take it, but I'll go back to orange. Ooh, living dangerously. Which key illustrator broke his left arm on the Lothlorien Lof set as it was being built? I have no idea. Alan Lee, apparently. Alright. Time for Volk to shine, or not. Six. Mm. Yellow pie time! What do the boat paddles look like that the Fellowship use on the Anduin? Birds, leaves, or feathers? Leaves. And the answer is... Leaves. Yay! Alright, that is even more of a moral victory than I was expecting. Two pie Ooh. pieces. I can't I even remember how God many I got um, the last time we played. It may have been something like two or three. So, yeah. I'm either tying or just behind my uh, personal best from last time. Three. Uh, blue, please. Beings, do Frodo and Sam hear singing in the forest en route to Bree? Uh, hmm. Humans? Wood elves. Wood elves, ah, oh, damn it. I was Come thinking on, Bree, right? Who's this. in Bree? <laughs> Alright, Well, three, there's that three you wanted last time. Yeah, tell me about it. Alright, so yellow. Uh, what does Sam say he was doing when Gandalf catches him eavesdropping at Bilbo's window? He was doing something under the window ledge. I can't remember the exact name of it. Um, trimming the verge. Uh, cutting the grass. I'll let you have that one. It's close enough. Thank you. Yeah, that's a bit pernickety of a word. Yeah, I'll let you have that one. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm not going to get on the centre anytime soon. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the moment you said that. <laughs> See, rare footage of Entom64 Giddy. <laughs> the only time that happens is when Steven Universe is involved. Alright, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, what part of Helm's Deep does Aragorn do some dwarf tossing onto? Ooh. Uh... Eh. Parapet? Uh, the causeway. Fuck. These questions are hard. You're going for the hardest ones, you con. No, I'm not. The orange ones have been way harder. I've actually been, um... The only reason I gave you the orange one the first time was because you literally landed on there straight away. <laughs> and I was feeling salty about it. <laughs> Alright, pick, please. 
What fiery apparition does Frodo see while wearing the ring? Oh, come on. Sauron! There, it's the eye of Sauron. <laughs> go on. Hey, there we go. Alright, uh, two. Uh, I'll go on the wild space and then take another roll. I roll onto a ditch. Come on, you're winning by loads. You have no reason to be mad in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> I can't fucking win. One, two, three, four. Green, please. What kind of creature leering over Frodo in the Sirif Ongol watchtower is killed by Sam? Hmm. A vulture? Oh, an orc. You tit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking of all the wrong things here. One, two, three. Brown. Brown. Alrighty then. What direction across the plains does the Broken Fellowship take to track the Urukai captors? North. West. Fuck. Has Anton's lock finally run out? I highly doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, so I'm gonna go on the wild space and roll again. One. Uh, let's go with a green. Who saves Gamling by cutting off the arm of an Urukai who had him by the throat? Who, uh, can you repeat that one please? Okay, I'll flip the card over. Uh, who saves Gamling by cutting off the arm of an Urukai who had him by the throat? Gamling, who the fuck was he again? Uh... I honestly do not know, so I'll have to pass. Fair then. Well, dang. Pretty sure Gambling was like his attendant or whatever. Yeah. The Dorman. I think he may well be right. One. What? Gotta move back to orange. Alrighty. Okay. Which game did Scale Double Booja Canada and actor Sean Astin play on the set between takes? Rugby? Chess. The orange ones tend to be the hardest ones, just because it involves, like, all these other people that you barely even fucking know. <laughs> Alright, yeah. six. Uh, let's go for some blue pie. Okay, okay. Who says Galadriel is more fair than all the jewels beneath the earth? Gimli? Correct. Hey! I think I may have just beaten my personal best with that one. Nice! God, if you had... If you end up winning, board game blowout is fucking cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> oh dearie me. Alright. see how far we can get here. Hell, I'm just happy I managed to get free before you inevitably win. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, five. One, two, three, four, five. White, so let's roll again. Don't get a one. Do not get a one. Uh, I need a two. Uh, that's a five again. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Pink, please. What metaphor does Gandalf use for his drawing the evilness of Saruman from Feoden? What metaphor? Oh my god, how the fuck am I supposed to know that? Uh, pass. I, I will no draw you, Saruman, way. as poison is drawn from a wound. Ooh. Yeah, that one's a pretty tricky one. Like, unless you know the script word for word, that one's going to be a toughie. One, two, three. Yellow. Yellow. Alrighty. Uh, who is the only member of the Fellowship to wear armoured boots? To wear armoured boots? Yes. Ah. Uh, ooh, that's a tricky one. Um, Pippin? Gimli. Oh, okay. Alrighty, let's roll the dice, see where I get. Six. Well, I need a pink and a green, so I'm gonna head up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And roll the dice again. 
do, 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 do. One. Yellow. I will take. Uh, what two races at the Rivendell Council have mistrusted each other since the Second Age? Uh, elves and dwarves? Yeah, I don't even need to look at the answer for that. Correct. <laughs> yeah, baby! See, if you're going by the Billy and Mandy lore, the, el the dwarves were just mad at the elves because they got to make the cookies while they were stuck with mushrooms. <laughs> In the fucking pile. Alright, two. So that'll land me on the white. Then roll again. Two or five, please. Two! Thank you very much. Uh, pig pie potential. Alright. Thinking he's so good now. Alright. Who does Grima Wormtongue call the Herald of Woe? The Herald of Woe? Saruman? Nope. Gandalf. Oh, dearie me. Oh well. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, please. I need to win. Four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yellow. Yellow. Alrighty. Uh, let's see here. What kind of attire is Theodred buried in? Sorry, is that there again? Uh, yes, sure. What kind of attire is Theodred buried in? Theodred. Um, Rohan attire? Uh, armor. Okay, F well. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Two. Alright, that puts me on a white. Put myself back in between the pink and the green. See what happens. Five. Alright, I'm going for green pie potential now. How many warriors are in Saruman's army that marches on Helm's Deep? 10,000, 15,000, or 20,000? I'm going to say 10,000. And, uh, you would be correct. Hell yeah! Alright, I've definitely shattered my personal best now. Hell yeah. Even if I lose now, I can be happy with uh, my performance. If it carries on this way, you won't be losing at all. Just get in the fucking... Alright, well, let's take another roll and work our way towards... I need a pink and I need the... Orange. Okay, so uh, let's go for... Let's try and get towards the middle of those two. Okay. Alright, let's go for the white, just to get myself a little bit more uh, driving room. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Blue, please! What does Legolas raise to his chest to offer a blessing for Merry and Pippin? His bow, his left hand, or his right hand? Um, his left hand. His right hand. Oh, dang. I knew it was a hand, I just couldn't remember which one. <laughs> six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Brown. Brown, okay. Uh, what are these days? What four races are represented at the Council of Elrond? Four? Ooh, yes. Um, men, dwarves, elves, hobbits. Correct. Two. Mm. One, two. Heading towards the blue. What fellowship member claims to have the eyes of a hawk? Gimli. Correct. Two. Oh, it's getting infuriating now. Brown, okay. What place does Gimli describe as horrid, dark, dank, and tree-infested? Fangorn Forest. Correct. Two. two. Again. One, two. Blue. Blue. What beings are natural sprinters, according to Gimli? Um, dwarves? Correct. I'll give you five. That was a TV oh, show. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three, give me five. Yes, it was. <laughs> it aired many a moon ago. Alright then, uh, so green. Uh, let's see. What weapon does the cave troll use to smash Balin's sarcophagus? Um, it's like a, a 
club? It's hammer. Okay, fair enough. Alrighty. Let's see what we can get here. Alright. Five. Uh, let's go brown. What city did Boromir single-handedly single -handed, single vanquish the enemy in, according to Denifal? What village? Or what town? What town? Hmm. That's a tough one. Uh, Bree? Osgiliath. Ah, damn it, yeah. <laughs> that was one I probably wasn't going to get. <laughs> so I just went with, Fucking what Bree. towns do I know? Six. Ugh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'll be there someday, my beautiful middle space. <laughs> what happens to the deeping wall when Theoden taunts Saruman, saying, Is this it all you can conjure? Fuck up. Yep, blown the fuck up. Three. Three. One, two, three. Alrighty then. Right what around. legendary king said acquiring the One Ring had caused him great pain? Uh. Hmm. A steel door. That is correct. I was thinking it was a land deal for a second, but no. No, no, you guessed correctly. One, two, three, four. Pink. Okie dokie. What kind of beings does Shelob normally eat for food? Orcs. Correct. Come on, just let me get on the middle space. Five. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five. Alright then. Uh, let me see. Huh. Alrighty then, uh, let's try this. Who says Oskilaf would still be standing but for Faramir? Uh, uh, Denifor? Correct! Yes! Alright, if I was feeling particularly mean, I could have also have had what does the software acronym MASSIVE stand for that was used by Waiter Digital? Oh. Alright, let's yeah, see if you would have gotten this on one. <laughs> Alright, have a guess on that one, because I would have been intrigued to see what... Massive? Yes. Um, middle... <laughs> just... Hold on. Just before you answer, like, literally the bottom right of the card says, LOL WHAT? <laughs> At the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that shit. Like, they knew. They knew that question was, like, needlessly just... Hard. I'm not even going to attempt it, mate, but I'm going to do this! Well, well played, sir. I'm just amazed I managed to get four pie pieces at the end of all that. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. All My right, knowledge is occasionally quickly. missing off the obvious, but um, I pulled through at least on a couple of them. Alright, let's finish off with a game of Yu-Gi-Oh, mate. Hell yeah. Alright, let's get the right version up. The one that we were playing before. Well, even if I lose here, it's a draw. At least in this session, I can enjoy that. Indeed, indeed. Alrighty then. Uh, where is it? Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! There's Dungeon Dice Monsters. Obviously, that's not what we're doing. <laughs> Maybe another time. Come on, what the hell is this thing? Ah, oh, there we go. Yu Gi Oh! Duel Master. That's the one we're looking for. Hey. Gotta load all this shit. Yes, indeedy. Beautiful. I guess, uh, we, uh... Shall we pick a search. random deck from this bag? Yes. Alright, so shuffle the bag by right-clicking. Oh, okay. So, so when you press right-click, random... just click on shuffle. And then just pull the top okay. one. So, uh, just drag the first deck out. So, uh, I got Yugi's deck. And you got the 2014 I... starter deck. Oh, fuck me. So how do I pull the cards up? Like so. Oh, cool. Thank you. Hmm. I feel like I may be a bit outmatched here. <laughs> Considering your deck comes from 2014. 
It's cool. It's cool. I, I only really know the uh, the watch from a call. It's the only one. All right. Well, we'll see Yo. if we can make this work. It'll be uh, interesting. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, heads or tails? Call it. Tails. Tails it is. You get to decide if you want to go first or second. Two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm going to go first this time. All right. So you don't draw for the beginning draw phase. So gotcha. go yeah. ahead and play. Uh, hmm. Okay. Well, first of all, play this face down. And, uh, hmm. I play Warrior Degriefer in attack mode. Ooh, already coming up the heavy hitters. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna end my turn. Alright, uh, let's see if we can make this work. Draw. Alright, uh, well I'm going to start by setting this card face down, and then I am going to play Card Destruction. So you discard your hand and draw a new hand equal to the amount of cards discarded. Alright, one, two, three, four. Wait, was that three? Uh, it was no, three for you. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. Alrighty then, so I draw four. One. Yeah, put that in your graveyard as well. Yep. Alrighty, I will go ahead and set this card in face down defense position. And mm. that'll end my turn. Okay, okay. But yeah, uh, this is like the very, very first Yu Gi deck I am playing with that airs from like 2005 or whenever it came out. Yeah, I'm seeing, like, cards with symbols. I have no idea what the fuck. Ooh. Looks cool, though. I'll try and play within my own means, then. Yep, that sounds like a plan to me. Okie cokey. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna play Terror Tiger. The Empowered Warrior. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon one level 4 or lower normal monster from your hand in defense position. Uh, okay, I shall do just that. Uh, that's an effect monster. Fuck. Unless it's a yellow monster. No. So yeah, no. if it's a yellow bordered, if it's a yellow card, then that's a normal monster. Okay, uh, I am going to attack your face down monster with Tarot Tiger. Okay, and I will flip it. It is Wall of Illusion, which has 1,850 defense, so not only do you not kill it, so you lose 50 life points, but it also returns to your hand after damage calculation. Okay, and uh, what was the e defense on that? Uh, 1,850. Not bad, not bad. I am my turn. Alrighty. Ooh, bought myself some time. Ah, this will work. Okay, I shall play Fissure. So uh, that will destroy the monster with the highest attack on your side of the field. Or the uh, lowest attack, in actual fact, which is Warrior Digrepha. So he dies. Well, fuck. And then I shall play Celtic Guardian in attack mode. Okay. I will then uh, flip this to attack position. Oh. Preparing myself. And then I shall attack you for 2,400 in total. Okay, let me input that myself. Uh, how, how much was that? 2,400. 2,400. Not bad, right. not bad. Your go. I feel well, like if I'm going to have a chance of winning, I'm going to press every advantage that I can. Okay, well, I'm going to summon Terror Tiger. Do you have I'm a normal attack. monster in your hand this time? Uh, no, I don't. Alrighty. So, I'm going to attack your fucking Wall of Illusion over there. Alright, so that will return to your hand afterwards, but I do take 800 damage. So, uh, that goes to the graveyard, that goes back into your hand. Uh, why does Terror Tiger keep going back into my hand? Um, because that? when you attack the Wall of Illusion, uh, after damage calculation, it returns to your hand. Okay. It's this effect. Gotcha. Alrighty. And, well, I just uh, fought myself, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, your turn. Alrighty. Draw. 
Hmm. Unfortunate, but can't be helped. Alright, I'll attack your life points directly with the Celtic Guardian. So you take 1,400 damage. Yeah, I need a, I need a good card. That'd be great. You know, this uh, does well, kind of make me wish I could uh, get you in on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro and like try some uh, custom decks out. Yeah. Because I know well, you seem to think we... um, the whole everything after GX era just got really, really insane, but it's kind of a good insane. Mm -hmm. And I think you'd have a bit Scarlet of... Scarlet card. Destroy or face up monsters your opponent controls. Oh yeah, shit. The 2014 star deck has pendulum monsters. Mm -hmm. Damn, son. And now, Aratiger attacks you for 1800... Ouch! Alright, 1800 it is. Boom, boom. Alrighty, my go. Is it my go? Yeah. Okie dokie. Oh. Okay. Uh, let me see here. I'm just going to remind myself what this card is real quick. Okay. Alright. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and set this face down and end gotcha. my turns. Okay. I'm a drawing. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna play a monster in defense mode. Alright, face down defense position. Uh, uh, hmm. I can't play traps from my hand, can I? No, you have to set them face down first. Sure. And then you can activate well, them after you end your turn, pretty much. Alright, what was this again? Let me just have a quick look. Sure. Uh, okay. Well, put that back down there. Uh, yeah, I suppose I can't attack again now, can I? Well, you can attack again, yes, because you've still got a monster in face up attack position. Oh, yeah, I didn't attack. That's a good point. Sorry, guys, it's literally just turning midnight. I attack for 1800. Alright, so 1800 off of me. Alright, 3 6. I gotta make something Turns happen over. here. Alright, my go. Alright, I'm gonna have to go for something daring here. First of all, I activate Dark Hole. Motherfucker. Alright. Then, I'm going to set a card face down in defense position. I'm then going to activate my trap card, Ultimate Offering. I can pay 500 life points to Normal Summon or set one extra monster, which I can only activate during my main phase and my battle phase. So I'm going to use that to... Oh, uh, hold on. I activate Dust Tornado. Alrighty, so uh, that will be destroyed. So, I only get its effect once, I believe. So, there we go. I can set one spell or trap card from my hand. So, what I'm going to do is go do that. Soul Resurrection, special sort of one normal monster from your graveyard. Uh, you and, need uh, to set it first, so you can't activate until your next turn. It okay. sets it face down, so... There you go. You can do Thank that. You. On your, you can do that on your next turn. All right. So I still get the effect of ultimate offering once, since it didn't negate the effect. If I am remembering the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh correctly, so I'm gonna then yeah, use I it to make a triple very, summon. Very Sacrifice Mammoth Graveyard to play Summon Skull. Oh motherfucker! All right, and then I'm gonna equip it with the Sword of Dark Destruction to increase oh its God. attack points by 400 but also increase it, decreases its defense by 200. I'll then attack you for 2,900. Okay. Yeah, I deserve to lose this. I'm pretty sloppy right now, honestly. No, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I end my turn. Okay. Well, I've already drawn, so... Alright, it's just uh, a case now if this is Summon Skull has the staying power to finish the job. <laughs> Oh, apparently Dust Tornado would negate it, so um, I can't actually do that, so uh, I'm going to keep my uh, face down card, and... Uh, okay, I'm just going to pretend I didn't see anything, and I'll end my turn. Where the hell did my summon skull go? <laughs> now it disappeared Wait, off the be... face of the planet. 
Dusthold, if you like. Would that be my, um... No, because Dark Hole came before Dust Tornado. Yeah, that's right. Uh, hold on, let me rewind time. Uh... Yeah, because um, my summoned skull has literally disappeared. Like, it has vanished. <sighs> hold on, I have, a, I have a compromise here. Hold on, if I find your Yugi starter... You may have just fucked up the game, Bob. Uh, no, it only went back 10 seconds. Oh, okay, yeah. I just need to try and find uh, your Yugi deck so I can uh, take the summon skull from there to use for the time being. There it is. That way it just uh, saves a massive ball lake. There we go. Alright, there we go. That fixes that. <laughs> it's a good compromise. Right. Alrighty then. Uh, I will end my turn then. Okay. Drawing card. <sighs> yeah, that's right. Um, the whole thing is, if you just destroyed a normal spell and trap, it wouldn't negate the effect. But since it's continuous, it has to be face up on the field to resolve. I apply that. I put that down, and I end my turn. Alrighty then, I shall draw a card. Alright, now I'm gonna do what I was gonna do. Sacrifice Mammoth Graveyard to play Summon uh, Skull. Okay. I'll then play the sword on it. Uh-huh. And then I shall attack your Red Sparrow Summoner for 2,900. Nope. No, not Sakretsu Armor! Damn you. When uh, an opponent's monster declares an attack, target the attacking monster. Destroy that target. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Alright, I am my turn. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, um we are horribly outmatched here. So um, hold on. Uh let's see. Okay, well first of all I'm gonna play this. And uh I was on three six hundred. There we go. Target two normal monsters in your graveyard. Ah, so not an effect monster. Okay. Right, so you've got so, your uh, warrior Digodefar and your mystical elf. Uh-huh. And uh, I guess I'll summon uh, warrior to the field. Okay. Uh, and I attack with both these fuckers. Alright, I will go ahead and flip Waboku. I take no battle damage and my monsters are not destroyed this turn, but I don't have any monsters. <laughs> Oh well. Alrighty then. Anything else? Nope. <laughs> Alright. I need to draw the absolute nuts here, otherwise I am dead as a door now. Uh, nope, that does not help at all. Man, the 2014 starter deck has so much more muscle over this. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, okay, well I'm gonna put a monster in defense mode. Oh, nope. You didn't see nothing. I did not. I'm going to quickly check my cards over here, so give me a sec. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, we decided sure. to pick random decks, so it just happened to be uh, my luck, but I pulled out the Yugi deck, and he pulled out, like, I think it was probably the most recent starter deck that's available in this uh, mod of Tabletop Simulator. Yeah, just checking my traps, making sure everything is in order. But yeah, it kind of just reminds me of all the decks I used to play. I started out with a burn deck originally, back when um, Invasion of Chaos first came out, I believe. And then, mm -hmm. sometime after that, I took a really long break from the game, because people kind of stopped playing and they moved on to whatever the newest fad was, I suppose. And, um... Uh, I think it's your turn? Alrighty. Oh, that doesn't help me much either. Alright. Gonna continue to bolster the defense. And I'll okay. end my turn. Gotcha. Oh, look at all these fancy pendulum monsters. I don't know what the fuck you're supposed to do with these. <laughs> uh, okay, um, I will attack with Red Sparrow Summoner and I attack this one. That this one. one. Alright then, so uh, that is Mystic Clown. So, uh, yep, that dies. And uh, you get the effect, so. Uh, 
You can special summon one warrior type monster with 1 500 or less attack from your deck in attack position. So you can search your deck for a warrior type monster with 1 500 or less attack. Um, how do I search? Uh, ah, right click go. and search. That's that's really handy actually. Mm. Uh, so, so warrior. Uh, a lot of spellcasters in here. Yeah, I'm not seeing many warriors. With how many attack? One five hundred or less. N nope. Can't do that. Alright, well in that case, uh, just shuffle the deck. Okay. It's possible we may have already drawn into them. Did you just draw me a card? Not to my knowledge. That's fine. Uh, and uh, I attack this with this. And uh, that is the Baron of the Fiend Sword, which unfortunately does nada. Your turn. Alrighty then, I shall draw. Hmm. Alright, I'll set this in face down for defense position, <laughs> and then my turn! Uh, you're only delaying the inevitable, though. I know I am, but unfortunately there ain't a whole lot else I can do right now. <laughs> other Red than Sparrow. hope. Red Sparrow attacks this. It is Manny to bug, and I'll kill your warrior digrepher. Never. Oh, okay. So then you can't attack with him. <laughs> well... <laughs> Clever girl. Alright. Your move. Alright, draw a card. Please be something good. Uh... Alrighty. Um... I may be taking a bit of a risk here, but that's fine. I summon Dragon Zombie in attack mode. Okay, well, we're even right now, so... Yep, and I'm gonna attack your Red Sparrow Summoner, killing them both. Oh, okay. Like I said, taking a bit of a risk here. Alright, I am my turn. Okay, my, my turn. Uh... Okay, well, first off, I'm gonna play Poison of the Old Man, and uh, I will inflict 800 damage to you. Oh dear. Boom. No, that's plus. There the go. second so one, I attack with Mystical Elf, another 800. Oh damn, okay. Someone's being ballsy and by I attacking end. with Mystical Elf of all things. <laughs> and I end my turn. Alright. Alright then, I summon Silver Fang in attack mode. <laughs> and I'll oh, attack- oh, hang on. Trap hole. You son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, bad times, bad times. Alright, I am my turn. <laughs> you should. Uh, that takes me back. <laughs> Literally, normal summon, trap hole. Normal summon, trap hole. <laughs> uh, okay, I choose to attack you in Mystical Elf again. Alright, so that's another 800 off me. Bing! Turn ended. Alright. I summon Magical Ghost in attack mode. <laughs> <laughs> and I attack him, Mystical Elf. <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on, checking stuff. Uh, go, I activate Raigeki Rogue. So, uh, if you discard one card, target a card in the field and destroy it. There you go. Uh, all right. I don't know if that nullifies damage, though, is the thing. Yeah, you basically it's, you basically killed me before I can attack, so, yeah, that's oh, fine. Okay. Alright then. Yo go! Turn. Yep. Okay. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Um, get a bit of insurance going on. I play this face down and I attack with my elf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm amazed you haven't flipped that face down card face up and attacked with that as well. But uh, oh yeah, I have one of those. You do, but it's a bit late now. <laughs> All right, I have one more chance here. Go, great white. And then I'll attack your mystical elf for the third time. <laughs> Please just let it die. Special summon one monster from my graveyard in attack position. So my special summon is. one normal monster from your graveyard in defense position. When this card is removed from yep. the field, destroy that monster. Okay. Uh, Alright, I'm just searching through. Alrighty. That'll do. Uh, that's not a normal monster. Normal Fuck. monsters the yellow ones, remember? Yep, I got you. And that goes into defense position. Alright then. Ugh, bastard, it has 1 600 defense. Of course it does. Alright, <laughs> I'll just carry on attacking your mystical elf and you take 800 damage. Okay. Boom. 
Unfortunately, I think the curtain's already been drawn on this fight. All right. Go for it. I think for, like, uh, literally the first starter deck ever, I held out pretty well against a starter deck that could have pendulum summons, of all things. Well, I wasn't pendulum summoned. Okay, I attack your Great White with my Haunter Dragon. You take 100 damage. All right, so uh, now it's main phase flip. two. Um, you should have done and, that before uh, you battled. Well, whatever, I'm doing it now. All right, then. I bought myself one more turn, then. Uh, ooh, okay. Busted in Christ, they've both got the same goddamn attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I gotta hope there's something good here. Alright, I'm gonna change of heart your face down card. Okay, and that is? Yep, that'll do for me. So, uh, keep that in face down defense position. And end my turn. Okay. Uh... I play Sorceress Spell Wall. All monsters I control gain 300 attack during your turn only. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da, okay. Uh, so I'm going to attack uh, with Hunter Dragon, who has two, 2,000 attack now. Alright, and this guy has 2,000 defense. It lives! Oh, okay. Um, shit. Ah! The wall lives! <laughs> Do I have any traps I can activate? Let me look. Nope, I don't. You didn't see anything. <laughs> ah, okay. I am spared for yet another turn. <laughs> that fucking, no, that, that stays on the field, I'm pretty sure. Um. Oh yeah, so during your turn they gain 300, and during my turn they gain 300 defense. That's field cards, so that goes there. Yep. Alright, my go then. Draw. Uh, that does n nothing for me. Alright. Your turn. Okay. Hoo hoo! Time to end this fucking charade. <laughs> I sacrifice two of these to summon this motherfucker. What tail dragon? Uh, you only need one right. for that. That's a six star. Okay, well, whatever I attack you. Important, capturing Wattail Dragon is forbidden by the ancient rules and is a level 6 offence. The minimum sentence for which is imprisonment for no less than 2,500 helio cycles. Which, oddly enough, is its attack and its exact level. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, well, he took out your sword for whatever, which I'm pretty sure was mine, so get over it. And, uh, I, I attack you with Warrior Die Griffith. And no! I'm going to the Shadow Realm! <laughs> And well, he was uh, never heard from again. <laughs> a bit sloppy, but uh, I'm pretty happy with how that went. I'm amazed I even lasted as long as I did with the like default like first ever starter deck against the 2014 starter deck. Something that has yeah. 10 years worth of tech behind it. So you know what, I can't I be too even... mad, but slightly miffed that that's what I happened to draw against what you happened to draw. But what can you do? That's just how well, a random oh, chance uh... happens sometimes. This, this is a first, I think, for Anton and Volk's board game blowout. I won free Volk 1-1. Won, won. Yep, you are the winner overall for this session. But I will say this, next time we play Yu-Gi-Oh, I definitely want to get you in on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro instead and maybe make up some decks of our own to put against each other. Maybe have a few um, stipulations thrown in there, like maybe make them based on characters and what have you. I think that's something that could potentially be very, very fun. Because, I mean, this works very handily, but there's something to be said about uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro's automated system and just the sheer mm -hmm. wealth of cards you have available that make it probably preferred and just vastly superior. So, uh, what else did you have? Alright then, so, um... Where's well, the other pencil oh. monster you had? So, uh, yeah, just to uh, let you know how it works. A Pendulum Monster is, when you have monsters in your extra deck, or in your hand, uh, what you can do is you can put these two monsters on your Pendulum scale, like they were spells, and then you can special summon from your hand or your extra deck any monsters that are between level 2 and 7. So, essentially, Ooh. if you had that with uh, these two cards in your hand, you could just play these two cards from your hand for free. Interesting. It's a pretty insane mechanic, especially when you actually start building properly around the pendulum mechanic. Because uh, pendulum monsters, when they're destroyed, 
they don't actually go into the graveyard, they actually go into your extra deck zone, so they can kinda hmm. recycle themselves if you're in the uh, position to do so. Okay, well let's not get into a lesson now, because it's time to close up this installment of Board Game Blah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, don't forget, uh, we have a Patreon now, so you can help support Health Icons for as little as a dollar a month. Uh, I'm not going to explain all the tiers and whatnot, there's a featured video on our channel, check that out. And uh, thank you to everyone who's pledged thus far, looking forward to doing new content starting November, when the pay goes through, and we'll see you next Friday for another installment of Enter the Box and Board Game Blowout. Bye-bye. See you there. Peace.